Hey guys, let's start the 72nd episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Laporta explains Messi's exit. Messi wanted to stay says Laporta. Barca fans demand the truth. Messi wants PSG move. Goodbye to Lionel Messi. Madrid awaiting a call about Mbappé. Where will Messi play next season? Why Agro wants Barcelona to exit. Guardiola responds to Messi's talk. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So at first, without delay, let's get to know some main news of the day. The Barcelona president delivered a press conference on Friday to explain the reasons behind Lionel Messi's camp new exit. Laporta said, We have no margin to maneuver with salaries. We have to comply with financial fair play. The numbers are worse than what we had been told and what we had predicted based on the official figures. We cannot mortgage half a century of television rights to comply with financial fair play. I am not willing to do that. We have a club with 122 years of history and it is above any player, even the greatest player in the world. We've been happy to have him here, but we aren't interested in this deal. Barcelona is above everything else and the club has to be protected. We've done all we can and we've moved on. I am convinced we can still be successful. He has done everything possible to stay, Laporta said. The fact that he wanted to stay played a big part. It was important. I am personally sad but I know we've done the best thing for Barcelona. He leaves an excellent legacy behind him. He made history. I hope we can overcome this and start a new era. He's left a lot of joy, success, and historic images, but I won't give false hope that there could be a turnaround. With him our salary was 110% of income, without him it's 95%. The former Blagrana boss has been heavily linked with the Argentine superstar for some time, and he is now up for grabs after leaving Camp Nou. Tep Guardiola has been quizzed on Manchester City's reported interest in Lionel Messi now that the Barcelona icon has hit free agency and will not be signing a new contract at Camp Nou. Guardiola, who spent four memorable years working with Messi at Barcelona between 2008 and 2012, said of the speculation suggesting that he could look at putting a reunion in place. We spent 40 million euros on Jack Grealish. We paid 100 million euros and brought in 60 million euros. He will wear the number 10 because we were convinced with Grealish and we were convinced Leo would continue at Barcelona, so right now he is not in our thoughts. The six-time Ballon d'Or winner is heading out of Camp Nou, with the Liga Giants unable to retain his services despite agreeing on a new contract. There is a sense of sorrow and disbelief hanging over Catalonia after Messi's exit from Camp Nou was confirmed on Thursday. These were the emotions among Barcelona supporters after the club announced Lionel Messi would not be signing a new contract. We demand to know the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, wrote an angered Luis Mascaro in sport. Laporta has to explain this very, very, very well. Some say that Barcelona never wanted to renew Messi's deal and all the negotiations were a sad sham. Argentina star has said yes to League One side's approach. Lionel Messi has informed Paris Saint-Germain that he is ready to join the club, says RMC Sport. The French side is preparing a two-year contract with an option to extend for one more season in Sky Sport Italia. Calcio Mercado News claims he will pocket 35 million euros per season. The defender has been with the attacker since the start of his career and wished him the best on his next move. Gerard Pique says nothing will be the same without Lionel Messi at Barcelona. The Argentina star will not return to the Camp Nou outfit because, the club said, financial and structural obstacles set by La Liga are preventing them from tying him down to a new deal. After 21 years with the Spanish giants, Messi will look for another club to continue his career, and Blagrana teammate Pique is sad to see him go. Nothing will be the same again. He wrote in an Instagram post about the Camp Nou, or the city of Barcelona, nor ourselves. He wrote an Instagram post. After more than 20 years at the club, you will stop wearing the Barca t-shirt. The reality, sometimes, is very hard. It may have taken the best part of 24 hours, but with Lionel Messi now on the cusp of signing for Paris Saint-Germain, several Barcelona players have said emotional goodbyes to the Argentine on social media. It took Sergio Busquets to break the wall of silence from within the Los Cules dressing room since Barcelona announced on their website that Messi's contract would not be ratified by La Liga Santander effectively bringing to an end his time with the Catalan giants. Sergio Busquets, the first to say goodbye, it wasn't just current teammates who paid tribute to Messi either, with both Xabi Hernandez and Gerard Dulofu making their feelings clear. Peak, Puig, Griezmann, Pedro, Fatty, Coutinho all players gave a farewell message to Leo. Despite the fact Paris Saint-Germain are launching an operation to sign Lionel Messi, the club's position with regards to Kylie and Mbappe hasn't yet changed with PSG insisting that they won't sell. They are putting increasing pressure on the forward to sign a contract extension. Real Madrid continues to watch events from afar. If Los Blancos need to make a strong financial investment in getting Mbappe a year early, they are ready and prepared for it, although they will not initiate any move. The former Monaco talent has endured the pressure from his club to sign an extension and is seemingly determined to wear the white of Real Madrid. 
be that in 2021 or 2022. As such, Real Madrid expects a phone call from Nasser Al Khalifi before the end of the transfer window, with the Catarroan club looking to do a deal once Messi has been signed. If that is to happen, the Spanish club will make their move and use the funds they have recouped already this summer, as well as the wages saved by allowing Sergio Ramos and Rafael Varane to leave. The Argentine is a free agent and has his pick of destinations for the 2021-2022 season. New opportunities will present themselves to Messi, although his salary and age have to be considered. We've looked at the places he could move to next and evaluated the most likely destination. Paris Saint-Germain appears to be the early favorite to land Messi this summer, with Neymar already in the squad and several Argentines as well. The French side has been building a project focused on bringing the Champions League to the Parc des Princes. Manchester City are the third most likely place for Messi to play next season, and he could reunite with Pep Guardiola in England. Having signed Jack Grealish and with Harry Kane expected to follow, City might be committed to other plans already. It's less likely that he decides to go to Major League Soccer just yet. While he wants to play there, the number 10 has plans to play at the highest level for a little longer before winding down in the USA. John Rose made some interesting comments on Friday following the announcement that Leo Messi would not be continuing at Barcelona. Rose, a Barcelona member, claims that La Liga had approved of Messi's contract days before the news of Messi's exit broke as a result of the club's inability to comply with the league's financial regulations. I can reliably assure because I have verified it that the issue of Messi's registration with La Liga was fully agreed and agreed upon for days, he told Rack One. 48 hours ago the agreement was ready to be announced. But something happened. I do not know what happened, Rares added. Now we move on to some interesting news of the day. Messi's departure has hit some fans harder than others, as seen by many posts and videos uploaded to social media websites on Friday. Yet some are looking for someone to blame and with Joseph Maria Bartomeu conveniently out of earshot. Antoine Griezmann has come in for some abuse. The former Atletico Madrid star is a higher earner at Camp Nou, and he was met with several fans upon his arrival at the Joan Gamper Sports City Complex on Friday. These fans then shouted abuse at the French international's car, blaming him for Messi leaving. He has left because of you, they exclaimed. Although, one can deduce that they feel his unwillingness to leave the club for anywhere other than Atletico Madrid this summer has contributed significantly to Barcelona being unable to slash their wage bill and register Messi's renewal. Tottenham forward Harry Kane has stated in reaction to missing his return to training. He wrote, It's almost 10 years since I made my Spurs debut. For every one of those years, you, the fans, have shown me total support and love. That's why it hurts to read some of the comments that have been made this week, questioning my professionalism. While I won't go into the specifics of the situation, I want to clarify that I would never, and have never, refused to train. Inter are on the lookout for a new striker as they expect to lose Romelu Lukaku to Chelsea this summer. Sky Sport reports that the Nerazzurri have identified Atalanta attacker Dubin Zapata as their top target, but are also considering Roma striker Edin Dzeko. Renato Sanchez has reached a personal agreement to join Barcelona, according to Latin Sport. But the Catalan side may not have enough money to buy him this summer and may have to hope Lille will be tempted by a loan offer with an option to make it permanent next year. Nerazzurri demands a cash-only deal for the Belgian striker. Chelsea are edging closer to bringing Romelu Lukaku back to Stamford Bridge, the Daily Mail claims. The Blues have stepped up talks with Inter and are preparing to pay 95 million euros to land him. Chelsea offered to include David Zapacosta and Marcos Alonso as part of the deal, says Calcio Mercado, but Inter have said they want a cash-only deal. Strikers' lawyers are reviewing the agreement with the Catalan side. Sergio Agro wants to leave Barcelona, according to Bitev. The Argentine striker just joined the club this summer, but he expected to play alongside Lionel Messi. Now that Barca has given up hope of signing Messi, Agro is furious and has told his lawyers to try to find a way out of the club for him as soon as possible. Bayern Munich is ready to sell centre-back Niklas Sewell, with it thought that he could bring in around 30 million euros, and they plan to replace him with Paris Saint-Germain defender Thilo Kera. According to Calcio Mercado, Juventus are ready to go head-to-head -head with Paris Saint-Germain to sign Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba. Pogba is out of contract at Old Trafford next summer and speculation concerning his future is currently rife. PSG have reportedly signaled their interest in his signature and now Juventus, Pogba's former club, are also interested. Chelsea reportedly has their eyes on another Inter Milan star with a deal for Romelu Lukaku seemingly close to being completed. As per sport, Chelsea are interested in a deal for Dutch defender Stefan de Vrij. The Blues have been linked on several occasions. Arsenal has made a much improved offer for Inter Milan frontman Lautaro Martinez, according to transfer expert Dean Jones. The Gunners have been linked with a move for the 23-year-old and reports from Italy emerged on Thursday afternoon claiming that the Nerazzurri may have to sell Martinez as well as Romelu Lukaku this month. Jones aforementioned report claims that the Gunners used a third party to present the offer for the Argentine. 
So, this was the end of our 72nd episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.